Hello, welcome to another video where today I'm looking at um, what is an exercise known as the sit to stand. Uh, obviously I'd love to have an older adult in this but we didn't have one at the time so I'm using one of our trainers Dylan here to demonstrate it. So sit to stand is really uh, like a, a very regressed version of a squat and as the name suggests it's really just sitting in and out of a chair. So this is obviously for some per someone who's lost a significant amount of muscle um, you know this can be quite a demanding exercise at first um, but you gradually want to progress it and this is what I'm going to show you in this video how you can gradually progress from the basic sit to stand which was what we saw there to slightly harder each time so well, after we go from the normal sit to stand we actually sit on the chair now we go to just tapping the chair so you're not gonna you still have the comfort of the chair behind you but now you're not trying to rest in it once you've sort of got the, the idea of that, you're moving to level, so that's level two. Level three would be going down to that tap again, but just sort of pausing there for about three seconds. All right, so you're not sitting in the chair, you're just touching it, just like a feather touch. And once you can sort of handle, and you know, if you, if you can at least get 10 or 15 of these, then you're ready to really move the, the step away and not rely on it so much as you were before. So now you should be able to get the motor control timing because you practice so many of these sitting back positions to now do just a body weight squat. So quite simple. To, so we've gone sit to, sit to stand in the chair to tapping the chair to holding above the chair to now no chair. And then obviously the last progression might be to add um, a dumbbell which will add some resistance to it. So a dumbbell would be a better choice than a barbell it's a lot easier to control and it actually encourages a good upright um, rib cage position which is very important for the movement all right so the gradual progressions of going through a little bit harder each time but not too hard that it, that problems result and once you've sort of you know and there's many other barbell versions we might use on top of that but another great one that we might follow up is using um, an integrated version where we actually bring in extension into the arms as well all right so so now we're actually giving the person a, a very functional task of like trying to push something up and get into an extended position so there's there's a great way to progress the basic sit to stand exercise all right so i hope you've enjoyed that video see you on our next one